हम उस रिसाव को अलग थलग करने की अपनी सारी क्रियाएं करते हैं या अगर वहां से निकलना हो तो निकल जाते हैं आपात स्थितियों के लिए रूसवासी पैराशूट ट्रेनिंग का इस्तेमाल करते रहे हैं पैराशूट के खुलने से पहले के कुछ पलों में प्रशिक्षणार्थियों को सुलझाने के लिए कुछ समस्याएं दी जाती हैं ताकि वो जोखिम में भी सोचने की काबिलियत विकसित कर पाए मेरे ख्याल से पैराशूट ट्रेनिंग से अंतरिक्ष यात्री को वो तजुर्बा दीदी आई वांट टू सी द कार्टून शो दौरान आपात स्थिति कीप वाचिंग कार्टून शोस ऑल द टाइम एट टाइम्स ट्राई वाचिंग इंफॉर्मेटिव शोस टू कि उसे क्या करना मिली और वो अपने आप पे भरोसा करके हर खतरे के लिए तैयार रह सकता है और आश्वस्त रह सकता है कि वो मिली पट पाएगा दीदी प्लीज गो मम्मी इज कॉलिंग यू कमिंग मम और मरम्मत के अयोग्य चीज की ट्रेनिंग कैसे ले इसके जैसा भी क्या देखा दोस्त मुझे तुम्हारी जगह एक नया दोस्त मिल गया ऑल दिस प्रिपरेशन माँ हु इज कमिंग डोंट यू रिमेम्बर योर मौसा एंड मौसी आर कमिंग Oh, it's Sunday. Kiran must be coming as well, Mom. Hmm. Ajay is also back from hostel on a holiday. He too will be coming. What fun! What all are you preparing, Mother? Puri, chole, palak paneer, aloo gobi, dal, and rice. And sweet dish, Ma. Mossy loves kheer. I will be making that too, child. Now help me out. You cut the spinach. I'll be cutting the cauliflower. Okay, Mom. What are you doing? First, you should cut the spinach and then wash it. No, first it should be washed well and then cut. Milly, now I have to learn from you how to cut the vegetables. I swear, mother, our teacher has told us that if vegetables are washed after cutting, then all the vitamins present in it also gets washed away. So, vegetables should first be washed well and then cut. Really? Okay. Then first, let's wash the vegetables. Hmm. Hmm. And then cut it. Okay. Okay. And what else did your teacher tell you? She also says that vegetables should be cut into pieces of equal sizes. There is no need to cut them too small either. Otherwise, there are greater chances of loss of nutrients present in the vegetables. And what else? She also says that we should try to avoid peeling the skin of fruits or vegetables, be it for salad or anything else. In case it has to be peeled, one should make sure that the layer is a very thin one. Hasn't she told you how much we should cook at a time? Yes, cook only as much food as required. Since reheating of food destroys its nutrient contents. Oh, that means reheating of food should be as minimum as possible, right? Very right. Repeated heating always results in loss of nutritive value of the food. Now, did she tell you something about how to serve the food? Yes, Madam says food should be kept and served covered. And what about the quality of uh, fruits and vegetables? Yes, all fruits and vegetables are good, but we should use more of seasonal fruits and vegetables. I had soaked the rice. Let me wash it again before I cook. Hadn't you washed it before soaking, Mom? Of course, I washed it. Why? Then why do you want to throw away this water? It is a rich source of nutrition, as many soluble vitamins would have been dissolved in it by now. Mother, our teacher says that chole, rice, etc., should always be prepared in that water in which it has been soaked, so that our body gets full nutrition from them. Ma, why are you not using pressure cooker for cooking the rice? You should always use cooker as it saves time as well as fuel. But I have kept the chole in the pressure cooker. Doesn't matter if cooker is not available. 
We can create pressure by keeping a weight on the top of the plate covering it. The rice must be ready by now. Hmm. Let it get cooked a little more. In the meanwhile, I'll prepare the paneer. No, mother. We should put the gas off as soon as the food is prepared. We should never overcook anything as it also destroys the nutritive value of the food. Mother, why did you put so much of extra water in the rice? As per your advice, I've put all the water in which I had soaked the rice, child. Okay, so the problem started at the time of soaking. So, from now on, you must soak only that much water which is sufficient to cook the rice. Okay, that means we should soak the rice only in that much quantity of water which could be later used for cooking it, right? Exactly. Now I'll serve this extra water to Rahul by adding some salt in it. One minute, mother. Don't throw away this paneer's water into the sea. This is very useful and nutritive. Mm -hmm. We can use this in kneading the floor. We can even use this in preparing the gravy. Or can even drink it. So, place a bowl here and then pour this paneer's water in it. One minute, mother. Are you putting cooking soda in chole? Yes, child. So that it gets cooked easily? Yes. Mom, cooking soda might make it easier to cook chole, but it destroys its nutrients present in it. So, from now on, no more cooking soda in our kitchen. How foolish I have been. No, mother. A person is foolish when she consciously commits a mistake. But you never knew about all this. Child, will you please sieve the flour for the puris? No, mother. You should never sieve the flour as it lowers its fiber content. Millie, are you going to teach everything today itself? Yes, mom. Today I am your teacher. Hmm? And if we are talking about flour, I must tell you that fermented flour is much better than normal flour with which we make idli, dosa, etc. Because it contains the nutrients present in it. Oh. And for dessert, we are going to prepare sevaiya ki khir. Ask me why? Why? Because when we use a combination of two or more food groups, it enhances the quality of food, both in terms of nutrition as well as taste. Here, sevaiya is a cereal, and when mixed with milk, it increases its nutrition as well as taste. Thank you very much, ma'am. You have given me valuable information, and for that, you will be getting good from me. Now, will you please repeat all those so that I do not forget anything? Okay. Listen. First, wash the vegetables and then cut them into pieces of equal sizes. The pieces should neither be too big nor too small. Avoid peeling the skin and in case it is necessary, remove a very thin layer of it. Soak rice or pulses only in that quantity of water which could be further used for cooking. In case any water is left in cooking rice or pulses, do not throw away this water. Add some salt or sugar in it and drink it. You could even use it in preparing vegetables. Do not throw away any excess water left over in making of paneer. You can consume it by adding some salt or sugar in it. You can also use it in preparing dough. Always use pressure cooker as it saves cooking time, nutrients as well as fuel. In case cooker is not available, one can create pressure by keeping a vessel on the plate covering it. Do not overcook any food as it results in loss of nutrients. Do not use baking soda as it destroys the vitamins present in the food. Fermented dough is more nutritive than normal dough. 
do not seed the flour as it has contained large quantity of nutrients and provide fiber to our diet. The combination of two kinds of food materials increases the nutritive value of the food such as the combination of dal and rice or chole and bhature. Always keep and serve the food covered. Always remember, if you have a nutritive diet, your body remains healthy and you need not visit the doctor. Also make sure that the tips Millie gave us today, you follow them. Inform your friends about conservation of nutrients and help everyone to lead a healthy, fruitful life. <laughs>